the famous Idaho Potato Bowl. Georgia State against Utah State. This one Saturday, December 23rd, also at 2.30 p.m. Central Time. God's time zone. This one's on ESPN. And uh, Utah State, a two-and-a-half-point favorite on the uh, on the blue turf, of course, at Boise State is where this, uh, this game is held in Boise, Idaho. Utah State, a two-and-a-half-point favorite over Georgia State with a total of 59-and-a-half currently. Now, obviously, these lines shift. They change. Uh, so make sure and shop around and whatnot. I'm just telling you what I think based on the numbers and based on what the, the spread is currently. So moving on, uh, Utah State full season. I've got Utah State favored by one and a half. Uh, when this thing opened, Georgia State was favored by two and a half. It has moved five whole points uh, all the way through zero, all the way over to the other side where Utah State is a favorite uh, looks like uh, uh, Levi Williams is going to be the uh, starting quarterback here for Utah State. They've been dealing with some quarterback injuries. But Georgia State, yes, they're going to have Darren Granger, their, uh, their starting quarterback. But they have got so many guys in the portal, and this is a team that lost their last five games, did not cover any of them, got absolutely demolished in these games. How much do they really want to be here? Uh, their star uh, running back, Marcus Carroll, uh, he is already transferred out. He is going to Missouri. So he ain't sticking around for this. Um, this is, it's so full season numbers. I mean, Georgia State, not good on defense, um, especially against the pass that you see their number 115 in PPA per pass. Well, Utah State's number 45. Uh, it hadn't mattered which quarterback is in there. Uh, Blake Anderson, the head coach at Utah State, he has got a passing offense that will work. So uh, you look at their rushing attack, they're, Fairly good running the ball. Offense is not the problem for Utah State. On the other side, Utah State's not good at stopping the run. Well, when you have offensive linemen and running backs and whatnot in the portal, uh, that's not good either for Georgia State. So I don't know how much they're going to be able to uh, take advantage of this Utah State defense. But regardless, uh, let's move to the last six weeks of the season. And, yeah, Utah State favored by 11.26. Power rating-wise, I've got Utah State favored by one. That's on the full season. Uh, You can see that up there at the top. But I I look at this, and, yeah, uh, this is is not going to go well for Georgia State. They've not been very good um, passing the ball. They've not been very good running the ball. They're just – they have not been good. Over the past six weeks, they were number 132 in net points per drive. Uh, now, Utah State isn't great. They're number 80, but that is significantly better than what Georgia State's been doing. I mean, this is just a disaster, uh, what Georgia State has turned into. And I don't know how interested uh, those guys are going to be in playing this game. Uh, when you look at like playing winning football, the five factors, if you Google that, you can figure out exactly what goes into the five factors. Uh, but the five factors plus talent, rank, these are two teams over the past six weeks of the season – or the last six weeks of the season, uh, that did not do great things, right? Georgia State was number 124 in that metric. Utah State was number 115. Uh, How these two teams got to six wins is kind of amazing, if you want to be completely honest. (laughs) Um, Points per game margin over the past six weeks, uh, that's... Look, Georgia State was number 133. I mean, it's... (laughs) Points per play margin, number 133. Net points per drive, number 132. PPA margin, that's predicted points added margin, number 132. Uh, Utah State, I think, is going to be able to take advantage of a team that, I mean, if if you are Georgia State and you are based in Atlanta and it is uh, right before Christmas, are you really wanting to go all the way up to Boise, Idaho to play against the Utah State Aggies? Uh, And I think that's the whole handicap here. I know the spread is two and a half. Uh, I will lay it. I will lay it all day. Utah State minus two and a half. Um, I just don't think that Georgia State is going to want to be there, especially with all the guys that they've got out. So, But again, this bowl season has been absolutely wild. So we'll just, we'll just see what happens. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, You can email me, Gary, at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.